Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is the second book in the Harry Potter series, written by J.K. Rowling. The story begins with Harry returning to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry for his second year. He is soon warned by a house elf named Dobby that he must not return to Hogwarts, as great danger awaits him there. Harry ignores the warning and returns to Hogwarts, where strange things begin to happen. In detention, Harry hears a strange voice and later finds caretaker Argus Filch's cat, Mrs. Norris, petrified beside a message written in blood. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened, enemies of the air. Beware. Harry, Ron, and Hermione set out to investigate and find the chamber, with the help of Dobby. Harry finds an old mysterious diary owned by former student Tom Riddle, who opened the chamber and blamed Rubius Hagrid leading to his expulsion. Hermione is petrified. A student named Jenny Weasley is taken into the Chamber of Secrets, a hidden chamber beneath the school that is said to be home to a deadly monster. Harry, along with his friend Ron and set out to find the chamber and rescue Jenny. A book page in petrified Hermione's hand helps Harry and Ron to identify the monster. It is revealed that the true heir of Slytherin is actually Ginny who was being controlled by an ancient diary belonging to Tom Riddle, who later became Lord Voldemort. Harry and Ron asked Professor Lockhart for help and find Lockhart preparing to flee. Professor Gilder Oil Lockhart, the new defense against the Dark Arts teacher, is revealed to be a fraud who has been using memory charms to erase the memories of his past heroic deeds and claim credit for them. They confront Lockhart in his office. With the help of Moaning Myrtle, Harry and Ron with Lockhart, they soon discover the chamber that was built by Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts, and that it is home to a deadly basilisk, a giant serpent that can petrify its victims with a single glance. Inside the chamber, Lockhart tries to use memory spell to erase Harry and Ron's memory with the Ron's broken wand and the spell backfires, erasing Lockhart's memory. Lockhart is shown to be confused, not recognizing himself or the people around him. Harry enters the chamber alone and finds Jenny unconscious, guarded by Riddle. Riddle turns out to be Slytherin's Aaron Voldemort's younger self. Harry faces the basilisk in the chamber and uses the power of his own wand to destroy it, and saves Jenny. Despite his injury, Harry stabs the diary with the basilisk fang, destroying Riddle. Hermione reunites with Harry and Ron, and suspected Hagrid is released from Azkaban. The movie ends with Harry, Ron, and Hermione looking forward to their third year at Hogwarts and the possibility of more adventures to come.